so the footage you first watched is basically just on the way to the main city, uh, well, one of the main cities in Cuba, Holguin, or Holguin, um, but now you're gonna see footage of actually in the city and how some of the buildings look and all that kind of stuff, and uh, you're just gonna see how it's like when you're actually in a populated city, not just on the outskirts, so look out for that right now. So I know that is next to nothing for the main city as far as footage goes that is basically just rolling through the streets in our taxi. Uh, there's a lot of beggars that come up to you and beg for money and there will, there's people that will follow you and demand things and it's just, uh, it's kind of sad but annoying at the same time. So as I'm saying this and just informing you guys of that, I'm going to have a couple pictures up on the screen. Right now we're going to have the University of Holgan. That'll be up for a couple seconds. This is one of the main buildings that was also pretty cool in the city square, so right in the middle of the main city. And then this is a picture of uh, me and my brother and sister in front of a big statue uh, that's also in the main city. I'm sorry that I didn't get more footage of the city, but anyway, let's move on to Hell of the Cross. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Instructional Skateboarding and I'm in one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in in my whole life. I cannot believe I'm here right now, this is absolutely amazing and I'm about to show you guys where I'm standing. This is called Hill of the Cross, it's in Holgan, Cuba. Holgan, one of the main cities in Cuba. I think it's the third biggest with just over one million people. Just look where I am right now. So I'm basically just going to be talking over this next little part. Basically what you guys are going to be watching is uh, some footage of us taking a buggy ride to this guy's house. Now, my mom and dad, when they went to Cuba by themselves two years ago, they found this guy and went to his house. And then we found him here two years later at the market again. And uh, we went to his house and took a little buggy ride with his horse along the road. And then at the end of this uh, short footage, you guys are going to see what... Uh, kind of typical Cuban house looks like so that's what you're seeing it's his house and family 
and I'm gonna talk over the pictures too. Let's talk about what you guys are seeing. So at this point, what you're seeing is a, uh, the view from his back into his garden and horses area. This is the, a view of his house from the sort of back or side, more towards the back. This is a wild banana tree. He grows all kinds of stuff throughout his house and gardens and all kinds of stuff, and that's a wild banana tree. This is where he would roast pigs because uh, he cooked his own food a lot of the time and he would roast pigs here. This is some coconut and sugar cane. The coconut, in my opinion, was disgusting, but the sugar cane was actually amazing. This is uh, me and my family sitting down for drinks with him, the all-prepared fresh coconut. And like I said, I didn't like it, but some of my family did. Right here is my sister. She's... I uh, got invited to ride one of the horses for a couple minutes because she loves riding horses. And finally, the last picture is just sort of another outside view of his house or where he keeps all his cattle and bulls and all that. So I basically only have two more things to show you. That basically pretty much um, concludes my trip to Cuba. I'm going to be having a kind of a longer talk session just like this at the end of this video. You can skip that if you want, but at least watch this. Uh, so basically I got my friends these bracelets and it has their names on them. So as you can see, there's one of my friends. There's another. And uh, there's another. I have more, but I own... I already gave away like five of them, four or five, uh, to my friends about an hour ago when I was in school. But yeah, I kind of got these just as a little testament for me and my friends and our friendship. And uh, it's just a cheap little gift that I picked up for them. So those are pretty cool and uh, they're pretty nice. Like I said, I'll show one more. But there's something much bigger, more grand, uh, something that I bought in Cuba that I haven't showed you guys yet that's absolutely amazing. Every time I look at it, I almost drool. It, 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 it's, it's just beautiful. And anyone who knows me knows that I probably love sunsets. Uh, I've told you guys that on this channel before, I think, in Q&A. Uh, I've talked about them on Twitter. I just love sunsets. And I just have to show you guys what I bought in Cuba. It's just absolutely amazing. So here it is right now. So it's going to be really hard to show you guys the full thing because it's a huge oil painting on canvas of kind of a purple sunset. I know it's kind of hard to see right now and I'm going to switch to a picture in a second and just talk over that but I just wanted to show you guys uh, me holding it and showing you guys a bit. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't get enough of it. I can't wait to get it framed and have this forever because it's just amazing. So yeah guys, that's my painting. I absolutely love it. I don't know if you guys like it, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, but this basically concludes my trip to Cuba video if you aren't watching the longer talk session at the end. So if you aren't going to watch the talk session at the end, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, this was basically my trip to Cuba. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride and seeing all the footage that I got. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. All my social media links are down below as usual. Uh, it's been Instructional Skateboarding, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out. So don't worry, this longer talking part, if you are watching, it won't be too long. I'm going to limit myself to five minutes with my stopwatch on my phone starting now. So this was an, an amazing experience. Um, it was about $950 a person to go. That's all inclusive. That means your room, your flight there, your flight back, uh, all the food you can handle, uh, all the alcohol you can handle if you're of age. Uh, and by the way, he served me alcohol pretty much any time I wanted and whenever I wanted because I either looked old enough or they just didn't care. Uh, but probably because they can just tell that I'm, you know, old enough or at least close to it. Um, so yeah, that's what it cost us to go. Uh, let's see. Snorkeling was amazing. We went snorkeling in the ocean every day and it's one of the most amazing things I've ever done in my life. It actually probably is. Um, and it was so crazy because when we would snorkel out every day and get out to the reef where we would snorkel and see all these fish, uh, you would look back on the beach and you could barely see the beach. And I'm not exaggerating when I would say people look this tall. 
like people respect uh, and you know and take like half an hour just to get out there and like I said you can barely see people but you're out there and you're surrounded by coral that's you know as high as your house or as high as your school and you're swimming around coral and underneath coral and between coral and there's all kinds of fish following you hundreds and hiding and darting along and coming up to you and checking you out you know fish this size and just little guys like this and uh, they're not scared and it's just so cool and another thing about Cuba that's really cool is it's it's very unchanged there's not really any boats with gas there's no uh, destruction really uh, all the cars are very very clean Cuba's one of the only places on the planet left in the whole world that has a 0% carbon footprint. That means they actually help the environment instead of destroy it, and it's really, really rare. So everything there is really clean. Um, and it's just really amazing. Uh, the people were really nice, you know, the maids that we had in our rooms were nice, they even left us a note on the last day, and I thought that was really cool and sweet. I definitely have to say that uh, my favorite part was probably being, you know, surrounded by fish. Uh, big, little, small, different colors, um, and dangerous ones, non-dangerous ones. All kinds of stuff like that, you know, like up to this size when I was snorkeling on the ocean. And my least favorite part was traveling back because when we traveled back, or when we came back, uh, we woke up at about 7 o'clock that morning, okay, so 7 a.m. Uh, our plane was supposed to take off at 12 at night. So from 7 a.m. to 12 at night, that's how long we were going to be up before our plane even takes off, okay? Then it's another five-hour flight. Then we have to take a taxi home from the airport to where I am now, all that kind of stuff. But our flight got delayed another three hours. Then on top of that, I didn't even sleep when I got home. So I was up about a solid 30 hours uh, starting the morning that we came back. So that kind of travel time really sucked, but that's just part of it. Um, the plane there was a lot worse than the plane back, I have to say, but uh, let's talk a little bit more about, I guess, Cuba. Um, it was really cool seeing palm trees and waking up to palm trees every day right outside because I, I really love palm trees and I've always, you know, wanted to go somewhere with palm trees. I have actually been to Cuba once before, but I'm not going to really talk about that. Uh, but it was j just so cool to be surrounded by palm trees all the time. So two cool facts about Cuba, in case you didn't know. One is that their national sport is baseball. and. Uh, their kind of main language, I guess, is Spanish, in case you guys didn't know. But, uh, yeah, this was just a really amazing experience, and I'm so happy that I got to experience this with my family, you know, my brother, sister, mom, dad, and uh, it was just really, really amazing. I'm so glad I went, and I had a blast. The food there, I have to say, is horrible. If uh, you want the food to be good and you're going to go there, you just don't expect it to be good. When you come back, you're going to eat a crap load of Burger King and fast food and stuff because you're just going to crave it and the food's horrible, but you know, it was a really amazing experience. Um, I would have liked to stay a couple more days, but I'm so glad I got this opportunity. Everything is amazing there. It's definitely a great time. And uh, yeah, I had fun recording this video for you guys and making it for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, this has been Instructional Skateboarding, kind of talking about my experience in Cuba. And uh, yeah, this has been a longer talk session, guys. I hit my five-minute limit, so I'm not going to blabble on too much more. I'll see you guys later, and uh, peace out.